want to create the post uh, route and the users controller so method will be equal to post path will be equal to pod slash users now the handler will be equal to the same thing as this one and to access the data that have been uh, sent to this route you can exist inside the payload so request dot payload these are the data and they are uh, yeah th this is the data and you can just destruct that like this and what I will do I will from uh, the data I will destruct a couple of things which should be uh, a type of partial user entity for now and th I will get the first name the last name and the email and the path of death and for the validation I will do that but um, in, next, in another video okay so const you will be of type partial uh, user entity be equal to new user entity and just pass the first name last name email and path of death email of this and then just return uh, user repo.save pass the u and just call it correctly with the type so partial user entity and that's it so we can do a test so I have my postman and so I will create a post request to this route so row class 3000 forward slash users and go to body add draw select the type as JSON and I will pass this data so first name this last name email path of death so send we should see a response uh, of that user as you can see uh, but remember and yeah remember that the type uh, the default type is user and the idea is auto increment and these two are uh, added by default and yeah and we can also remove the birth date since it's, since it's optional and let's just remove the or make this email unique again send so this is another user as well and the birth date is not which is correct okay so this is the basic of the post route let's just delete now let's just now create the uh, patch route so method would be a uh, patch path will be users then an ID as a param now the handler I will just copy this as usual uh, yes so this will be an async function and from the request I will destruct the params and from the params I will get just the ID and I will also from the request destruct the payload uh, and I will show you in a second why I did that so first thing I will find the user that you are trying to edit so await user repo dot find one by the ID the ID you passed that's why this is an async function because I want to await before I uh, edit that because I want to find the user await that then edit it and now I will loop through the keys in the payload and for each key so for each key which is string I will change the value in the u in the user we got in that key should be equal to the payload and also um, access that key in the payload so I'm just overriding the values on the same key in the user we in the user that you passed his ID with the payload in the same key right I think the code uh, make more sense than my words but yeah now a user people dot update 
pass the ID and pass the user again and now return the user so let's go and test that so first thing this is just because each time we create a f we drop everything remember we have the instead of connection synchronized to true so we drop everything and just recreate that so let's create this user again this will be of id 51 and so let's go and edit that so i have a patch request here as you, as you can see with 51 I'm changing the first name to Paul and the last name to Awad and you don't need to pass the ID here so just pass the ID here okay so as you can see we have this one with the updated name and let's just test that this really works so I'll get go to this route which is forward slash users forward slash ID so this is the 51 ID we just updated so it has the updated names which is correct now the last one is the delete which is uh, look very similar to the patch so method would be delete I'm not sure if you can hear this but my PC is uh, on fire so path would be users and the params would be ID and I will just copy this handler because I will just destruct and get the ID I don't want the payload I'll just get the ID from the params and what I will do I will find the user and then user repo dot uh, remove so remove that user that I found and just then return it but it will be removed okay but yeah so let's go so I will delete the user with the ID of 51 but remember that each time we drop everything so this user does not exist so let me create it again as you can see so let's delete it forward slash delete and the post type and the request type is delete so we got the, the API return that user and let's try to find it so antenna server we will handle these cases but this, this means that uh, the, ap the API did not find that or the uh, type RM did not find that which is okay and I will show you something which I think uh, will help you debugging everything so go to your connection object and just put uh, logging to true and put uh, the logger to advanced console and the logging sorry put it at to an array and I just pass the error this will give you the errors that happened uh, in, the, in the console here or you can pass another things maybe you can pass uh, I mean you, uh, you can just google that I mean this is really useful but I'm not sure if this is will uh, give us an error on this but so let's create that user delete it and then just try to retrieve it okay so this is the normal error from happy jazz but I think we can uh, create an error from uh, type or M and let me just remove this and show you without without it what will happen so yeah let's try create a user with the same email that we have so I'll create this one with the test at test and create it again so this will throw an error but nothing happened in our uh, API because we disabled logging so let's return that and just let's test again what will happen okay so create the first user this is fine now create the user with the same email this will fail it's okay but now in our terminal we will see this uh, error from type RM. so the unique constraint failed on users to terminal okay so this is long now so i hope this was useful anyway